everybody. I'm Loomis, and we're back to Skyrim. Last week, we uh, made some skills legendary. Did some ridiculous things, made some skills legendary again. You know, broke the game, unlocked some perks, lots of fun. Close to being able to legendary smithing again. But in the meantime, now that uh, I've unlocked power, limitless power. Just briefly considering that I might progress the plot. Maybe, maybe. I have, I have other things to do in Riften. go to Riften, see what side quests there are, and, you know, maybe maybe if there's not much going on there, we can uh, do a main quest. Hmm? I mean, let's be honest, what are the odds that there's going to be something interesting in Riften? Come to chat with an old woman, hmm? I've not managed to make it there so far in the game, so there's obviously a reason. Uh, yeah, I'll put a marker on Windhelm. Head to Windhelm, then we can turn south. Get around that big annoying mountain. Oh, I see, it's a murder party. They're, they're killing some innocent guy. Do I have a... I don't really have a spare weapon or anything. Oh well. Good luck, dude. I'll be cheering for you to not die, but to be honest, I'm primarily concerned with the Imperials being done with. I'd rescued an archmage. Just quickly blasting people across the uh, the map with fireballs. So no doubt be a significant ally later in the game. Hi Desargo, I see you've done nothing useful this whole time. of Imperials. I killed them like three three meters away from you. Well, if you don't want me to pay a bounty, then uh, that's fine. peaceful day. Yeah. 
That sure wasn't my dash. Oh, what we got over here? Ah, feeding the giants, are we? I'd stay away if I were you. I'm on my way to a giant camp, and I can't guarantee those beasts won't think you're part of the offering. Keep your distance, and you shouldn't have anything to worry about. The cow, of course. Others do it differently. But I found that an annual offering usually keeps the giants away from our livestock. Some think it's superstition, but I believe it works. I've yet to have a giant kill any of my livestock. It's tradition. <laughs> we mark the animal as a way to let the giants know we're giving it to them willingly. Sort of a peace offering. It's tradition. We mark the animal... I have everything under control. Thanks. You take care of yourself now. <laughs> the giants seem like chill bros. Nice guys. What? Now get it! Oh, okay. There was a there was a picnic basket floating in the air. And then a bear attacked. Yogi? How did it come to this? Oh, what will the park ranger think? Did the park ranger have a name? I feel like he had a name, but I don't remember his name. I just remember him being called the park ranger. Still, you know, attacking me in the open with my new battle axe, that's sure not smarter than the average bear. take actual damage. Oh, I'm wearing my dress, not my armor. I'll have to sort that out in a moment. armor skill up at least. Hmm. Too bad we couldn't save whoever that was, but uh... Armor, at least, just a Stormcloak soldier. Hmm. Some poor random Stormcloak. 
How is my axe out of charge already? I only just made it. Oh, this is my old axe. I thought I... Hmm. I thought I deposited that. I wonder it's not absorbing uh, people's souls. Uh, I still got this stupid orcish bow as well. Hey, Zargo, you want some weapons? If anyone sneaks up on us, I'll smell them coming. Or Jezargo only has so much room to carry things. Why do you have 53 elven daggers? And a few of them over. Yeah, we, maybe we can sell them in. Uh... Wind Hell? Name of the place. Kajit will follow. Uh, can I even use weapons? I've yet to see you use a weapon. Well, you know, you can hold on to them, who knows. Maybe someday. An ice mage with a flame after neck? Nothing strange is going on here. this fight now. I've got places to be. going this way then. Follow the river to get to Windhelm. I hear battle music, but I don't see an enemy. Hello? I really need a, uh, a feather fall spell. Wow. I didn't even fall all that far, though, I didn't think.
This looks like oil, but apparently it's not. To River Arc life. It's been a while, but this is how we started out. Feels good to be back to it. fine. I landed in half a foot of water. Obviously can't take any damage from that. Oh. Lucky Lawrence. Who, who the heck are you and why are you in the water? Yeah, treasure maps, that's something. Guess his luck ran out. This water is flowing up. What witchcraft is this? Is that my eek? My eek, tell me, tell me something. Why does water flow upstream? The people of Skyrim are more open-minded about certain things than people in other places. Could you give me an example? My eek has heard it is dangerous to be your friend. Ah, uh, I mean, a few companions have had bad times. My eek knows why farmers are blind. It has nothing to do with the Dwemer disappearing, really. Oh, that explains that, that the game does tell you that the farmer are blind. My eek is tired now. Go bother somebody else. What? sure that water's not meant to work that way. There in a house. He do be drying fish though. Uh, 
Where am I on the map? Okay, it's not far to a wind town from here. So much alchemy now that we've got doubled ingredients. getting late, but I think it's just getting cold. Morning star, I don't know what kind of year it is, like spring? Surely morning star is the time of day, not a time of, of year. Nice pass through the ruins of Labyrinthian. Really? Where does it where does it go? It doesn't seem like it connects to places. Oh. Weapons and armor. armor you need or a new blade come see me oh, yeah look some leather as well while I'm here <laughs> it tells me how much leather I've got I wish it told me how many leather strips I have oh well I'll just guess Kajit guards your back Jezargo only has so much room to carry things Chill, I'm taking stuff off of you. We follow then. Yeah. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? I'm gonna make some quick cash you need mostly. In your travels, you need good steel. Send them my way.
that's the... There we go. I think I've got everything I care about. Yeah, archery we've mastered. Sprinting while sneaking out excuse a silent forward wall. That occasionally happens even when I, uh, when I'm not, even, well, it happens when I'm sneaking and I sprint without the skill, so I don't know. So it just makes it more reliable. the one that gives you magic resistance. Here we go. We'll work up towards that one. Wendhelm is great. I get to see Ulfric up close. Need some metal? Looking advice. to protect Don't yourself or combat. deal some damage? Oh, actually, I want to uh, Whether it's armor you need or a new check if I can upgrade anything before I start selling them. I want to miss out on those precious XP points. Get away, lady. Can't you see I'm using this? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Yeah, gee, really, I shouldn't have sold those yet. I could go buy some uh, soul gems yeah. and enchant them. Oh well. Always next time. I travel. If you're looking. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Thank you for your custom. You need anything? Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Sure to stop by Sadri's used wares in the Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Good day. Take a look. What are you selling? Stand yet. Charred Skiva hide. I don't know what this does. I don't appreciate That's for sure. Shut up, old man. Uh. 
doesn't have the energy to get out of bed, but he's got the energy to not appreciate loiterers. everything. Cool. My master, I'll never have take a look. Until next time. You still being useless up here, old man? Aurelion is asleep and dying. But he can still yell at me when I come in. But I'm there to loiter. Whoops. I don't appreciate loitering. That's what you're here to do. <sighs> Dude, if you're gonna be asleep and dying, then die. If if not, then Wylandria's soul gem? What's this? I hope you have coin to spend. I have a decent. It's apparently not a uh, not stealing if I take it, so we'll see. I've also learned how to craft magical items. You're an enchanter, eh? So how come you don't deal in like soul gems or anything like that? Ah, so you're an I'd better get going. Who's Wylandria? Oh well, so we're done here.
cost your fancy magic something. Ulfric won't give us a straight answer. He's a true lord. the magic whatever you've heard I can do take a look oh this guy sells ingredients as well nice I don't think he sells any good spells though at least not that we've not already got Those dragons, I'd be making considerably less for us. Calm down. Yourself. I'm a sailor on the north wing. We're laying over in Windhelm. Let's see. Here we go. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Good to see you. Finally, someone useful as a. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Thinking. Maybe I'm the dragon boy. I just don't know it yet. Maybe. Go try shouting at a dragon, see how it works out for you. I mean that's how you check. Hey, there you are. It's been looking all over the place for the invisible lady. I'm never going to use my pickpocket skill, so I might as well get some cheap levels off of her. Hey, Miki, how are you doing? <laughs> are you having a good day? I was about to ask if you were looking forward to Team Stream this evening, and then I remember that it's not Team Stream this evening. I get very confused. You're good, glad to hear it. I'm okay. A little bit sleepy. I woke up super early today. <laughs> Feels like a Friday? It does, right? It's not just me? Maybe they got the days in the wrong order this week. Excuse me, sir. Working in 
on this plane. I get to see Ulfric up close. Shipwreck DLC, okay. <laughs> Away, lady. I'm trying to. I'm trying to forge here. You too, old man. Each one handle quite differently then. You know about Talos? He founded the Empire. I don't understand why they didn't prepare the, uh, why they didn't make the enchanting menu more suitable for mass production. Based on islands, okay. <laughs> Sounds cool. I want to play this game. Like, I own it. I'm probably going to stream it. I was thinking maybe we'd uh, team stream it sometime. Maybe after Minecraft. Who knows how many centuries Minecraft will go on for. Soul gems. So oh, good XP. I'd travel. Take a look. I've got plenty of trade goods. Thank you for your custom. Woman, I'm glad to see. Everyone says, take a look. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade, come see me. Candlestick. Hmm. Time is it? Eh, we should probably call it a night. Can head off to Riften in the morning. Name's News. I'm the cook up at Candleheart Hall. Nobody asked you. Can't just throw the big logs on the fire. Gotta have the little bits too. Got some fresh. Sure thing. It's yours for. I'll show Captain you. Captain Lonely right Gale has been avoiding me. Enjoy your just stay. Man. Feels as cold in real life as it does in the game right now. I got the chills. And don't break nothing. You be careful. Yeah, yeah. What? Wanna, wanna go out? To, forget it. I'll use the other door. Honestly, nods. Ow. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So 
the rift moon's all the way down here, huh? Okay. I'll aim for this place then, and then figure out where to go from there. Thinking now that I've got now that I've cleared up some uh, long-term jobs that I had to do, I might start streaming on a Thursday evening. But it's uh, it's not going to be this Thursday evening. I'm actually going away for a little bit soon, and I've got stuff I need to get ready. So maybe when I get back. Sadly, I've got way too many jobs today. More weeks, and I can add a new, a new stream to the rotation. What? Nakes. Should really put my armor on, actually. Sprinting through the wilds. Oop, sorry, sir. I need to disturb you. No amount of muffle will stop a cave bear from hearing its prey. Like a giant camp, we'll go around that one. Oop, got ourselves a dragon. Hello there. You are uh, you wanting to rumble or are you just minding your own business? That's cool. There's a note on the signpost. Attention citizenry. The giant here has been given leave to keep his camp. Please do not attempt to make trade, disrupt the mammoth, go cat, or otherwise disturb the giant. Resting here is not advised. Oh. That implies that they've got an open line of communication with the Giants. If they've been able to make those agreements with them. Do people know Giant language? Is it possible to talk to them?
Oh, my bones are broken again. Tell you, every time I get hit by a bear, one of my bones break. It's weird how that happens. I'm trying to figure out where the connection is. Ah! What gives? Argonian. Like, what's your deal? Well, it doesn't matter now, I suppose. I've got his soul. Was it worth it? Dragon Grave. Maybe the one that I saw flying away not long ago? <laughs> Messed up. What's happened, Miki? Uh, I thought I saw a steam here from another hot springs, but I think it's just uh, just the wind picking up snow. This is how I get. Salt, Stony Creek Cliff. I guess this is how we get past these mountains here and to the right. Is that? I think we're in the shelter of the mountains here as well. Even if we are higher up. There's trees and everything. Not bad at all. Still, we haven't seen any people in this part yet. Nords can, the presence of Nords can ruin even the most beautiful parts of Skyrim. All right, hand over your valuables, or I will gut you like a fish. Nice try. I am not going to ask again. Don't you walk away from me. Finish this. 
What does it take to intimidate these guys? I've got really high level speech, and I've got the uh, the perk for intimidation is easier. But I threaten a, a common cut purse, and they they're not bothered by me in my full Daedric armor and. Burning dragon bone battle axe. Well, at least I know I'll have plenty of filled soul gems when we get to wherever we're going. Man, I can't take two footsteps out here without something attacking me. This is obviously a very wild, very dangerous part of Skyrim. I should have come here sooner. Of paths. I guess we want this one. Oh, this is just kind of winding back and forth. I need to try and be getting up into the hills somehow. Try this way. There I go. I want to steal its soul. Okay, yeah, I think this is where we need to go. Yeah, what's happening, Miki? What's wrong? Oop, is that another bear? Oh. Rip elk. Machete, so you couldn't get stuff to make a raft. Oh, does that mean that you're uh, stuck on one island? The challenge mode play the islands DLC without ever leaving the island you're on. Tiny world map. Shaw's Watchtower. Not the place I was looking for, but still. 
Rifton Guard. Hmm. Looks like Rifton might be having problems. Well, I'm sure they'll forget about their existing problems once I arrive. A tiny island. <laughs> So no swimming either. We got here. Is that a letter? Uh, apparently it's part of the table. I can't pick it up. Oh well. I didn't want in the bucket, but I took it anyway. I remember one of the first, when I first played Minecraft years ago. I set it to a random world with all the options on maximum shuffle to make something really weird. And the uh, the world I started out on was this tiny island surrounded by a sea of lava. I think maybe I could survive that now, but uh, back then I had no idea how to uh, how to not die. <laughs> because I mean, there was grass and trees on the island, but the lava immediately set fire to all the grass, and the whole island burned down. I survived the fire, but then I was just stood on an island with nothing on it, like nothing to eat. I tootled around for a bit and uh, eventually starved to death. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't the most hospitable location. There was only one thing on the island, and that apparently was a really rare spawn. That is a huge fluke to start off right next to where I am, according to Norellon. But there was a, a, a temple there. And it was really weird, it was a, a water temple. So there was this big building surrounded by water, in the middle of the lava. Like, no, not even obsidian or anything, there was no gap between lava and water. Just one square lava, the next square water. Just not interacting with each other. I couldn't really get into the big temple though, because I didn't have any gear. And there were, like, these fish monsters guarding it. Eventually I got so desperate for food, I tried to beat a fish monster to death with my bare hands, and it murdered me. And I was playing on, uh, hardcore mode, so if you die once, it's game over. So, uh, that, that world was lost to me. But it's something I've always remembered. What a cool location. I guess we found a new village. See if anybody's around. Hello? Anybody home? Don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sickly. Yeah, I've got several broken bones. Would you happen to be headed towards Darkwater Crossing? My parents live there. I usually make the journey to bring them gifts and to just say hello, but I haven't been well lately. I've written some letters and placed them in a satchel. Perhaps you wouldn't mind delivering it to them on my behalf? Sure, I don't know where Darkwater Crossing well, is, but... I would insist on rewarding you for your time. I'm sure I'll end up there eventually. Take my satchel and give it to my father, Werner. He'll likely have something for you to bring back. I had a bad fall in the mine when I was bringing some food to the men. I was pretty bad off for a while. But a priest of Mara was passing through on his way to Dawnstar, and healed me to the best of his abilities. I'm still pretty sore, and I can't really walk too far without having to rest for a while. 
Do you want my potion of cure disease that also fixes broken bones and the like? No? Okay. Well hang in there. I might be a woman, but I can crack rock with the best of them. Be careful in there. You can take a nasty spill. Dark water crossing is a difficult journey. Mind yourself. I can crack rock with the best of them, she says with her broken legs. Well, I guess I'll poke around the mine in a minute. See what else is going on in the village first. Oddfell's house. You lost? A little. Mining is hard work, but we pay fair price for any ore you dig up. You're looking at the best miner in Skyrim. Damn place is filled with this reddish mist. Can't see more than ten feet in front of your face. Is that but when you can is that iron dust? Of iron like me, it isn't too much trouble. That's uh and that's roads favor the foolish. Probably not Everything good for you. Great in Red Belly. Then the damn spider showed up. You think I'd you're tough, huh? Wandering Skyrim is a picnic compared to tunnel crawling. Yeah, I've crawled a few tunnels. Mining so, iron takes a lot of strength like and special reinforced tools. I must have broken five or six pickaxes in the last few months alone. Did you know you can combine two pickaxes to uh, repair them? I can cut through stone like a hot knife through butter. So a rock splinter? And your children. Look a bit peaked. Are you sure you shouldn't get a uh, a magic? I'd wager I could crack rock faster than anyone, even you. A magic pickaxe? Hmm. Watch what you're doing. Something to come back to, maybe. There's a special skill you can get that lets you pickpocket weapons. So maybe it's equipped in his weapon slot. Maybe I can steal it sometime. Not normally into robbing random people, but uh, magic pickaxe. Think of all the smithing I could do with all the ore that would unlock. Can't just wave that in front of an orc and expect them not to take note. Sorry, the mine's dry right now. Dry? I hope you haven't arrived here looking for work in the mine. <laughs> it's full of spiders. That's what's wrong with us. They almost killed Grogmar and me when they showed up. Spiders. Scared of a few spiders. Mine looking for food soon. Then we're in even bigger trouble. Look, just put a just put a uh a just put a glass over them and take them outside. They're more scared of you than you are of them. Uh, they're as useless as a fifth wheel on a wagon. Gave me some sort of line about keeping an eye out for enemy soldiers. What's the point in protecting this place if the mine's completely useless? Idiots. Tell you what, keep to your word. And I'll line your pockets with as much as I can scrape out. Alright, sounds good. Moved right in and made themselves at home. Did it overnight. I'm not even sure exactly where they came from. No one's been hurt yet. And they seem to be staying in the mine. But who knows how long that will last. If we can't get back into the mine, our town is sunk. It's weird that nobody else is talking about the uh, the spiders that are occupying the mine that is the source of the this town's entire livelihood. Red Belly Mine gets its name from the red mist filling the place. You get used to it after a while. Kind of smells like the hot springs out in the tundra. Oh yeah. No idea what's causing it though. The hot springs. Hmm. The finest weapons and armor. Brimstone? Hmm. 
Trey does actually sell some halfway decent stuff. Such an out of the way location. Don't want to be responsible for sending you to your death. Be careful, am I? I'll be fine. It's just some spiders. Tell you not, scared of their own shadows. Spiders, dragons, there's no limit to what they're afraid of. Got a uh, hmm. Oh, here it is. I wanted to uh I wanted to set up the set up our Minecraft world to have that kind of ridiculous spawn. The weird lava seas and stuff. Or at least the chance of it. But you can't make uh multiplayer worlds as crazy as you can regular ones apparently. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Guys broke. I don't want to be responsible for sending you to your death. Careful in the mind. Come on, it's just some spiders. What's the big deal? I'm sure, it'll all be fine. Blow, just blow over. Imagine blowing up an. Imagine blowing up an. And what? Like the purple You're sash. The one from the college. Heard about you. The archmage, yeah. I didn't think I was that all that good at magic, but uh, I must have been because they made me their leader. Guess I hit some guy in the face with an axe. I don't know. A lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of me. Lightly armor means light on your feet. Smart. Nothing about me is lightly armored. Wonder what it's like for those Talmor now that they've been taken down a notch.
ebony ore? I thought this was an iron mine. Wait, that was all of them? This is not a big mine, and that was not a lot of spiders. I was expecting uh, slightly more there. Maybe like a... a dungeon with like a spider queen at the end? Now, back when I was working at the hospital, I once went up to the executive suite to find all of the big boss executives and all of their secretaries, and that stood out in the corridor, making a lot of noise. And I asked what was up, and they explained to me that there was a spider in one of the, uh, the offices. Which they were all terrified of, apparently. So, yeah, when I went in and got it for them, it wasn't even a big spider. Put a glass over and took it outside. It's not really bothering anybody. But yeah, apparently uh, completely shut down all of the the executive suite, all of the hospital managers. Truly, spiders are the greatest threat to the NHS of all time. They said this place was an iron mine. I've not seen a scrap of iron in here. It's all ebony. Do they not know what they're mining? I mean, I'll take ebony. It's probably about as good as, uh... There's iron, I guess. Iron ore I can turn into gold and make jewelry. Pretty sweet, but ebony's valuable on its own, I guess. Desiccated corpse. They told me nobody had died down here. They lied. Oh well, I guess that's all of it. Maybe they tell people it's an iron mine to stop them from, uh, Staying here and taking their own share of the, the valuable ebony. Like, if you don't have the transmutation spell that, that I've got, iron is nearly worthless. People are like, oh, an iron mine? Yeah, I guess I'll move on. But actually, it's full of incredibly valuable stuff that they're keeping to themselves. It's all a conspiracy, I'm telling you. These miners are up to something. Staying safe, I hope. I mean, not as a general rule. Nasty. The spiders put you through the ringer. Gone? Every one of them? Why, that's incredible. Finally, we can reopen the mine and put Shore Stone back on the map. Here, please accept this gift as a token of our gratitude. 1500 gold seems to be the going rate for uh, saving a town in Skyrim. It's good that they standardize pricing, I guess. Don't kid yourself. Stone runs in our blood. You should probably see a doctor about that. I'm not convinced that's healthy. Well, at least I got some ebony out of it. I think I need more iron before I can work it. Okay. I guess we're done here? Oh, I found it's not being. Might already have gone back to the mine. Who knows? Oh, yeah, there they are. I guess they've just heard that it's open. You showed those Wandering spiders Skyrim a thing is a too. picnic compared to tunnel. Call. May the road favor the foolish. The real work happens in places like this. Blood and sweat is what makes the world turn.
Ooh, what we got here? Don't mind if I do. Oh, I need to... That's why I can't make anything ebony. I need to actually smelt it. I mean, I still might need more iron. Or leather or something, but we'll check. Ow. I wish they didn't put these signs so low. I'm ever hitting my head on them. I play video games to get away from my real life problems. And I, uh... And, and here I am hitting my head on a sign, just like I'm slightly too tall, like in real life. I hit my head on things a lot, guys, can you tell? What's that up there? Is that a troll? Dead bear, dead spider. This troll's obviously running a fighting pit. I guess we're the champ now. Uh, okay, so we're supposed to be delivering this, uh... Hmm... Iverstead. Alchemist Shack. I gotta deliver this letter somewhere, not sure where to. Check my quest list. Darkwater Crossing. Don't know where that is though. Oh, it's over here, okay. Oh, that's not far at all. Let's get moving. said it's a dangerous path, I don't know. That's not a proper road, I guess. The cross country. Maybe they have trouble with bears. actual use for Corundo. Hmm, I'm guessing it's not at the top of this hill after all. Down there somewhere? Oh wow, look at that view. That must be the dark water that I've heard so much about. Oh yeah, that's probably the town there. Lake up there, flowing down into the uh, the marshy areas. Is that a? Uh... No, let's just be a, a big, big lake. I'm seeing. Look like the ocean. Sure, I think that must be a, just be a trick of the horizon. It makes it look like that goes on forever when actually there's stuff that will appear there if I were to walk that way. Yeah, it's just a, a trick of the eyes.
Rip doggos. A mine over here, apparently. I guess we're looking for is this way. Oh, hey, a signpost. Windhelm, Riften, Iverstead, White Run. Uh, no mention of dark water. Yeah, the road system in Skyrim is, aw is awful. I have to write a letter to the High King. Some sort of castle down there. I think that's got to be where I'm heading, though. That looks like a. Uh, a little village. Right on top of White Water, and still no mention of which road leads there. Uh, try this way, I guess. Dark water crossing, I guess. Not the uh, big town that I saw, just. I know this one house. Go cast your fence. Don't think you can barter with me like I'm one of those damn shopkeepers. Mine here, though. Tense. I wonder if this is like a seasonal mine. Don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sick. Not much to it, really. We fish and keep to ourselves. Try to keep from upsetting the Empire or the Stormcloaks, and so far the wars left us alone. Hmm. Until next time. I wonder if this area is seasonal. Like, there's the, the one big house for the people who live there permanently, but other people come and stay in the tents, do some fishing, do some mining, whatever they need. Annika used to help more with the mining, but nowadays she's a bit of a bounder. A bit of a bounder? It's a shame our daughter could make the journey herself, but at least she still thinks of us. If you wouldn't mind bringing this back to her for us, I'd appreciate it. All right, then. I wouldn't worry about that. He's a good elf. I trust him. You're probably right. What is it? Do you Dragons? I try to think of it as coaxing the ore from the rock. I'm lucky enough that none of my friends have been killed. Of course, we have soldiers coming through all the time. Those falls. Dangerous place. 
Dakethus thought he could find some good fish in the pools. Haven't heard from him in a long while. Hmm. We should keep an eye out for his body. Hey, you mix I've never potions, seen you right? around here before. Can you brew me Are a you a miner too? Saunders take Dakethus used to take me diving way down deep in the river. I miss him. Ever think about spending more time around town? Not when there's so much to see. I guess I should join you more often. You should. I miss you. A traveler? I'll bet I you've seen some sights. We should swap tales. What sometime. business the college mages have in a place like Sartal anyway? It's, it's a place for no dead. Not your weird experiment. If the no dead ever bothered to stay dead, I'd maybe agree more strongly. Okay. Guess I'll poke around the mine real quick, and then we'll see if we can find this dead guy. Careful. Golden Rock Mine. Hmm. Oh, is this all Corundamore? Okay, no wonder that fishing is the, uh... The main thing around here. I wish there was more you could do with Corundum. It really isn't. Turn iron into steel. I'm better off turning it into gold. Banded armor. Off using the iron to make ebony. To reinforce ebony. Hmm. And you can't make anything with it on its own, so it's pretty much worthless. these tents. Got a good 12 hours. They said one of their people tried to go fishing in the uh... Saunders takes care of me when mom's not around. In the pools near the waterfall? They've not heard from him for a while. How do you feel? There's a gorgeous tree that grows right up through a cave to the northeast of here. What's your trouble? Dostern telling tales again? Maybe we'll go see if we can figure out what happened to the guy. Smart. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet. Got to think. Annika used to help more with. I do love my wife. Just wish she'd get her head out of the clouds. Hmm. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Alright, well let's go have a look around these pools then. So we said the pool's near the waterfall. The guy thought he could catch fish in the pools near the waterfall. They haven't seen him for a while. And he used to go diving. Maybe there's a body down here, maybe there isn't. Be nice to at least let them know. Is 
this waterfall, I mean. That area up there. I mean, it should be possible to get there, but I think I might have to go the long way around. I don't know, I can't see it being easy to get up there. I don't think that's where the guy would have gone. Maybe then it meant down river. There's probably more waterfalls on the way down. Or maybe out in those pools somewhere? They weren't very specific. how you catch a fish. And act like one of them. Camouflage yourself. Once you see they once they see you jumping up uh, up a waterfall just like them, they'll let their guard down. That's when you strike. Is that a torch bug? Doing out of this time of day. Sargo, where are you? I've picked up so many flowers I can't walk. Whoa. Ow! So these are... There was a tent out there. Saga? Where are you? I need you to carry my stuff. There we go. Throw away that bucket I didn't want. Oh no, I picked up some creep clusters. Creep clusters are easily my least favorite chocolate bar.
Just gonna put that out there. They don't look so good. Are you feeling all right? Need something? Where's this hot springs episode? All right, I'm in. seen this guy that I'm looking for? Have any of you seen like a, a dead guy fishing near a waterfall? Like, I mean, he would have been fishing near the waterfall before he died. Probably not after. I can't say for sure. Need something? Is Jazago. I need him to uh, take my inventory. Do you not like hot springs? Okay, I'm going to chuck some stuff. Oh right, yeah. I'm I'm suddenly incredibly overweight because I'm carrying my arm instead of wearing it. I'll get rid of all the stuff that I'm carrying and still not be able to uh, fix that. Okay, there we go. Alright, we'll just comb the edges of these pools, see if uh, we can find the missing guy. He said he was fishing. These pools are too small to fish in. He can't be out here. What have we got over this side? Hmm. Maybe near the main river. If we go back and look at those waterfalls again. Full circle, are we back at the uh, dark water? Yeah, okay. Heard about wonder what it's like for those Talmud now that they've been taken down a notch. Annika used to. I do love my. If you want some information mm. about the area, Annika knows it better than anyone. Nobody wants to repeat what they said about the missing guy. What? Not yet. Okay, let's head back towards the hot springs and have a look at those two waterfalls next to them.
was kind of hoping that one guy here would be the guy who's gone missing. Hmm. Why did you never come back? Because hot springs. Apparently not. Good morning. Near that waterfall? Near this waterfall? All he said was, uh, pools near a waterfall. Some more pools over there. Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna get back up here. Sago, there you are. Where you've been. You're back. I had to throw away like 9,000 knives because you weren't here. So you can go back and fetch them. I can remember where I dropped them. Yeah, whatever. Money isn't really a concern anymore. I'm not convinced it ever was. Ooh, more pools. These ones are quite deep as well. Maybe the guy was fishing here. I don't know. I didn't even get a, a quest marker or anything for this. It's maybe not even an actual body. But they gave the guy a name, so I thought if I blundered around enough, I'd find a corpse with that name. And maybe I could go back and say, yeah, he did. feel like I did something. Oof, this water is cold in comparison. There's some iron ore. Is that my eek? And another guy? My eek knows why it's far not a blind. All right. Hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. I'm I'm stood here in a swimsuit. Do I look like I've got a lot of valuables on me? No, I guess not. Well, get out of here before I change my mind. My eek has heard right. it is dangerous to be your friend. You think so? Did you not just see me uh, disarm that situation? He's tired now. Who bother somebody else? Look for this guy. Oh, no, 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 no! Turns out waterfalls are dangerous. Thank you. 
Ooh, silver ore. Yeah, I guess we'll just head back into town and get dressed and maybe deliver those letters. Am I really weighed down again? Let's just uh, go. Uh, he's coming. You're taking us somewhere warm, I trust. Jezargo only has so much room to carry things. Yeah, take all this crafting stuff off me. I don't know. If we don't find the guy, maybe we'll at least find those knives that I threw away. Where are we on the map? I think we're too far away for this to be the place they were talking about. Is there ever a time I'm gonna get bone break fever? Although technically I think I already have it. Yeah. Maybe there just isn't a body for the guy. Maybe it was just flavor text. Maybe the maybe he went missing months ago and bears have long since eaten the body. Don't you dare! More hot springs over here? I am trying to have a hot springs episode! Now there's a dragon. Fine, I'll get dressed. Wait, wait there a second. I'll be with you in a moment. Let me towel off. Just doing my hair, won't be long. Alright, alright, here we go. Let's party. Elder Dragon, typical. It's always an old dragon that shows up when I'm doing Heart Springs. Look at me, you started this. Just minding my own business. I'm going to swim in the hot springs, and you, you had to come over here and breathe fire at me. Now my whole day is ruined. I'm really go looking for more shouts at some point. I've got tons of dragon souls. Maybe after we get to Riften. Oh, 
What we got over there? Some fellow. That is not dwell in sprint. In many ways, the uh, slow time is the opposite of whirlwind sprint. Excuse me, sir. Sir? What are you shooting? I don't see anything. There's nothing there. This guy's pulling some the bosses coming look busy crap. Ah, whatever. Having too much power to run, really? All in gauntlets, when do I get those? Oh yeah, I guess I'm still carrying all of this junk. You are taking us somewhere warm, I trust. Only has so much Can you carry anything more, or are you fully weighed down? Okay, you got tons of space. Okay, I guess I guess we just head back and deliver this letter. I guess we're done out here. Ruins. Bone strewn crest. Hmm. Is it like a an elephant's graveyard? Talking about how I need more shouts. What do we got here? Frost, frost breath. Oh, 
sounds cool. Your breath is winter, your thumb a blizzard. My breath is long winter! Cool. That is presumably the one that, uh, okay. I've been doing my Breath is Long Winter spiel for the, uh, the Ice Shout, but judging by the, the description, that's the one that uh, Talos was referencing in his holy book. A new sacred shout. Alright, where, where have we ended up? We're a long way from where we want to be. Time to head back this way. Oh! A house? Excuse me, miss. Okay. No? Doesn't attack me, but she won't talk to me either. Weird. Oh well, let's keep moving. Go back to that mining town. Potion. Check out those little ruin that little ruined island real quick. That is not whirlwind sprint. Uh don't give up, skeleton. Passing through, guys. Doesn't need to be all this fuss. Well, since there's monsters here, are they are they guarding anything? Or doesn't really look like they are. 
And that's the from whatever that place is. What well, I mean in Skyrim terms, that's five days walk away. If you were to ask an NPC. I don't know that they can be connected. Skeleton just sat down mining his oh no, he's getting up. Weird. What? Oh man, I've got a, a whole fleet of bears closing in on me. Really rich area. Alright, so, well, we need to be up there, so we need to get around these hills somehow. Oh, yeah, because we're traveling east. We're at the bottom of the hillside right now. Deal with this, all this fuss before we got turned. Oh, sorry, sir. Before we got turned around. Rifton is not easy to get to. You can see why the quest lines have never taken me there in all this time. Probably the other nodes want nothing to do with the voice. Way too long a walk. Okay, so we want to follow this hillside until we can until we can find a way up. I think. Ah, there's a road. Yeah, I think this is the way to go. to Windhelm to join up with the Stormcloaks. Ulfric has the right of it. Yeah, good luck with that. What? I'm grudgingly tolerant of the Stormcloaks existing. This way. It's not really looking like it. No, so taking it back. Oh, 
I'll stick to the road, more or less. Yeah, that's the road. Freshly pick picked berries. I've, I've already been through here. Every little last scrap of nature's bounty has been stripped away. Clear sign of the passage of the Dragonborn. Uh... <clears throat> you know, we found the, uh, nearby town, didn't we? Oh. Never figured out why this place was... ...destroyed. Band of Legion soldiers advancing on your position. Oh, okay. That explains it. When that note was on the table, I couldn't pick it up, but now it's fallen on the floor, we're good, I guess. What? Not yet. Don't know if there's somebody I'm meant to deliver this to. Why'd you put the sign right above the stairs? You see those warriors from Hammerfell? They've got curved swords. Curved swords. I can sleep. Just want to deliver this letter. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the magic? Go cast your fancy magic someplace else. I'll just deliver her letter and we'll be on our way. Oh, she's not even here. But she couldn't walk far. Is she still mining? can cast a few spells. Am I supposed to be impressed? You're the one who keeps saying, whoa, whoa, watch the magic. You're the one cast impressive. First you say, are you supposed to be impressed, and then you say, impressive. I think mixed Respect messages law, here, dude. Disrespect me. You're that mage from the college, right? Let's see if we can find it. Hard work. You sure you shouldn't be ah, home in bed? You showed those spiders. Uh, excuse me, Skyrim? Yeah, it uh, just closed on me. You missed the sign that was supposed to wrap up, but I, uh. Because it is about that time, but I, I just wanted to do the quest. Hopefully it'll at least have auto-saved as I entered the mine. Skyrim. Skyrim. 
I'm doing Skyrim things. to reading them. I appreciate the delivery. Here, I want you to have this. I insist. Oh. A silver necklace. It's nice of her. Keep yourself safe, traveler. I feel like I'd want to clear out the uh, the cobwebs if I was going to keep mining there, but what are you going to do? Maybe if you work in a mine, you just accept that mine life is miserable and you don't bother about the details. Go cast your fancy magic someplace else. Best offense is a good defense, am I right? Ha! You showed those spiders you think you're tough, huh? too. Wandering Skyrim is a picnic compared to tunnel. Well, apparently I can't deliver this letter to anybody here. Even you. Okay, well let's keep heading south and see if we can find the uh, find rift in itself then. And then we'll have almost done what we uh, set out to do at the start of today's session. Fort Greenwall. Probably something I can go around, right? The person looked at me and didn't attack, which makes me wonder. Oh, now those are bandits. I'm not going to bother with that right now. Actually, not going to attack me? This is unheard of. I mean, the uh, one of the title cards says that bears usually leave you alone if you leave them alone, but this is, this is the first time I've actually encountered that. Greenwall Cave. Oh, secret entrance. I'm more of a uh, kick in the front door kind of person, though. This must be Rifton. Is this Rifton? I'm not seeing a city wall or anything. Maybe it's quite a small place. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now, and you are bound to them. Violin die vile ing the tree MOS. Violin die oave. Fetzel, thank you so much for the three month subscription. <laughs> three months, wow. Thank you so much, that means so much to me. How are you doing today, dude? Hope you're having a good day. I thought I'd reach Rifton, but I think this is just, this is just a, a random tower? Watchtower, I guess? Welcome to Riften, home of the Thieves Guild. Or so they'd have you believe. It's all lies. They're just thugs. Vermin, creeping around the Red... 
So the Thieves Guild want you to believe that they're here, but they're not. Mm. Go cast your fancy magic someplace else. Hey, you mix potions, right? Nah, I've always been doing enchanting prats. Brew me an ale. It's not stealing to take things out of the confiscated goods chest, apparently, even though it was locked. I've made my smithing legendary three times, and my enchanting legendary twice. With the enchanting it was in quite short succession. I saved up all of my soul gems after I hit 100 enchanting, then I made it legendary, and then I used all of my soul gems to get it back up to 100. Then I made it legendary again. Because I'm insane. Nobody's going to stop me. <laughs> yeah, not not a uh, not crafting feels strange. Today's sessions felt very very oddly put together. I mean, I've just been traveling around the map doing quests and fighting dragons. It's not really what the game's meant to be about, you know. Although I did find a bunch of hot springs over here with people swimming around, so I, uh, we did a bit of a hot spring episode. It was interrupted when a dragon attacked. But uh, until then we were having fun. Don't suppose you'd enchant my sword. Dull old blade. Exactly, Prats. Like, uh, like Donkey says. It's an RPG, it's all about the action. Story doesn't matter. Uh, oh, this must be rift in itself. I think beyond the, the watchtowers. Okay, here's this. This is rift in stables, apparently. Ooh, look at these mottled horses. I'd say that I should buy one, but then the horses that I buy don't tend to. Uh, they don't last forever. Hold there. Before I let you into rift, you need to pay the visitors' tax. Are you are you serious? This is the most out of the way, awkward place to get to in all of Skyrim. You have to go winding past the mountains through the middle of nowhere, and there's an entrance fee. For the privilege of entering the city, what does it matter? I think you'd be a little smarter than that. Voice down. You want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. Hmm. The gate's unlocked. You can head inside. I used to be an adventurer like you. So this guy won't let me in when I threaten to decapitate him for trying to rob me, but will let me in when I say, "But this is a robbery." Well, he's, he's lucky that he let me in, because I was about to try out my new freeze breath on him. <laughs> the troll tall. Okay. I had another run-in with the Thieves Guild. Be careful, you know. The Thieves Guild has made in Blackbriar. Or fiddling with any locks around here. One snap of the fingers and you could end up in Riften Jail. Or worse. They represent the reason I'm here. I can't just ignore them, Eren. I know. I just don't want you to leave. You're the only good thing that's happened to this city in a long time. Hmm. No offense, but you're not looking so good. Are you feeling ill? You're just a few broken feel, bones. Huh? Visitors like us are rare in this part of Skyrim. 
I've been adventuring across Tamriel since I was a fresh-faced young woman, barely able to swing a blade. My travels have taken me from High Rock to Velenwood, Elsvir to Morrowind, and all points in between. Many years yeah, ago, why would you come here, though? In Sever, within the Dwemer ruin. To Skyrim? Nothing's happening in Skyrim. Days in search of wealth. You and I are alike. We seek challenge and great fortune. But for me, that's where this Making a lot, a lot of assumptions here. We See, just met. Riften is my great beast to be slain. And my fortune comes from gratitude and trust. To call it a guild is ridiculous. How can people who would betray one another over a gold coin be considered part of an association? They're the worst kind. Even the Dark Brotherhood abides by a strict set of rules and tradition. These thieves are just rabble. What do you think? You know, I'm beginning to respect you. Other sure. than Aaron, we don't need any rabble running around. The person I've met, I might be able to trust. Since we share the same opinion of them, let me warn you that they're recruiting others to join their guild, and you should be cautious. I'll add uh, destroy the thieves guild to my to-do list. I've been alright, Pets. I'm sleepy again today. I woke up super early. What have I been up to outside of streaming? I don't understand the question. Outside of streaming? It's been difficult. I've taken the burdens of this city's problems upon myself, and I keep running into impossible obstacles. Corruption, lies, I've not really been doing much. I try to stream as much as I can while I can. Aaron, the young man who saved my life, I think I'd already have given up long ago. Got a, uh, a holiday coming up, though. Going up to Scotland to see some family. So I'm getting a few things ready for that. <laughs> How about you? How are you doing? It was Eren who found me dying outside of the Dwemer ruin. If he hadn't brought me here and nursed me back to health, I would have died. When my strength returned and he told me about the problems plaguing Lifton, I decided fate brought me here for a reason. So I stayed. Maven Blackbriar, the matriarch of the family, represents everything that's wrong with this city. She's bribed countless officials, has friends back in the Imperial City, and freely associates with the thieves. Imperial friends, you say? I've tried everything I can to protect Riften citizens from her family, but to no avail. Well, there is Ingun Blackbriar, Maven's daughter. Let me just make, girl. make myself this hit list. Down in Elgrim's Elixir is working on her alchemy. Then you have Hemming, Maven's son, spoiled brat and heir to her empire. He follows her word like a loyal dog follows its master. Trying to get your sleep fixed. Finally, you gotta get yourself a new schedule. The worst of all of them. He's in Riften jail for murder. Safe travels. No offense, but you're not looking so good. Yeah, I probably need to find a temple. Might have to be next time, however, I'm afraid. It's going to be about that time. I need to go and check on the animals and such. It's starting to get dark outside. <laughs> Better about taking a sleeping pill than you will. Ah, uh, okay. What kind of sleeping pills are you on? Are you the one, the ones that kind of knock you out, that you take once in a, a while to knock you out, or the ones where you're supposed to take them every night? Trazodon, I don't know that one. I've been on a few different ones in my time. Yeah, I'm guessing you're on one of the uh, more long-lasting ones then, since it's still affecting you. I'm currently on Citalopram. I was on Metazapine for a long while. That one would hit me like that. Wow, and you're suffering through all of those, Pretzel?
Yeah. Now that that sounds similar to uh to the kind of stuff that I'm on. There's there is a lot of overlap between uh, antidepressant drugs and sleeping tablets. Because it's basically two kinds of sleeping tablets. So the ones that knock you out and the ones that help you sleep. The, like, you, you get actual sleeping tablets that uh, that you take them and they for the next couple of hours you're extremely tired and it helps you just immediately conk out. And then you get the the more the ones that are more relaxing, the antidepressant sort, where you take them and for the next hours you're you're a lot more relaxed and you stay asleep. Keeps you asleep instead of waking up every few hours. Yeah, yeah, that's very similar to to mine. I. I just can't function without sleeping tablets. The it t takes me hours to without them. It takes me hours to fall asleep, and then I wake up constantly throughout the night and can't get back to sleep. I could not function before I was on sleeping pills. I couldn't have kept down a job or anything. I was I was a wreck. Yeah. Like if if you're trying to come off of them, you gotta do it very gradually, perhaps. So you're gonna have that kind of problem, where you feel like maybe you don't need them, but then you wake up in the night needing it. The withdrawal symptoms can be brutal. I can I can tell you from experience because I've changed tablets a few times. Changing over is not fun, but I found a, I found a, a set that kind of works for me. The ones I'm on on now, these are. They're green screening a little bit. It's a Talapram. They're uh, they're they're quite mild ones by most people's standards, but they work really well for me. So I've actually gone down a lot on medication since I found these. Yeah, I'm lucky that I've got a a good psych nurse at the moment. Who uh, has helped me fine tune what I need a lot? But yeah, these these ones have been good for me. I feel a lot better these days than I used to. Switch to vibrate. I don't I don't know that one. Withdrawal is brutal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they all mess you up if you don't if you uh if you're not very careful withdrawing from them. Hold on. I guess I'll be using this one if we're just talking. Yeah. Have you been on the new ones for for long, perhaps? Is that why they're are, are they new tablets? Is that why they're knocking you back? Cause I remember when I was on my first tablets, the metazapine. For the first like two weeks that I was on them, I'd I'd take a tablet and I'd be knocked out for like fifteen hours. I was pretty much waking up, going to work, coming home, taking a tablet, going to sleep, waking up, going to work, doing nothing but. But I was so, at the time, I was so tired and miserable that it was actually a huge relief just to sleep through all the day. Rather than going on as the wreck that I was. Oof. Yeah, sorry to hear it, perhaps. Hang on. I hope they're I hope they're working for you. Because again, there is a lot of overlap between sleeping tablets and tablets for panic attacks and the like. I've definitely had a few of those myself. Especially, especially this last year. This last year has been twenty nineteen sucked. Streaming was the only good thing that happened last year. Don't suffer them anymore, I'm glad to hear it, perhaps. 
Nobody wants those. They're horrible. Especially when they just come out of nowhere. Like, I could understand panic attacks if they happened when horrible things were happening. But it's like they just build up for months and months, sometimes. And then some tiny little thing will uh, we'll just push you over the edge and it and like a month's worth of stress just comes out at once and you disintegrate. I've ended up as a, a wreck sobbing on the floor because I've knocked over a cereal box, I tell you. So if I ever if I ever find who designed the human brain, I'm gonna have words with them. I could do a better job, I'm telling you. Yeah, it is. I ended up in, in hospital the first couple of times I had panic attacks. And to be fair, I still could end up... Well, they're still bad enough that I feel like I should be in hospital, but now I know from experience that hospitals will do nothing but put you in a side room for three hours and then tell you to go home. Which is largely all you can do for a, immediately for a panic attack, I guess. Like, it helped to have somebody talk you through it or whatever, but, uh... Doc doctors and nurses in, in in the emergency department are busy with car accidents and crap. They don't have time to hold my hand. I get that. I keep forgetting to... Mm -hmm. I keep forgetting that I need to turn off... Nightbot's been going for this whole stream, and I keep forgetting to turn, turn him off. Every time I do a, a team stream, with the the multi stream, I forget to turn off the team to together announcement. Sleep hygiene, yeah. To be honest, uh, I mean, for for me, <laughs> streaming has actually helped me a lot with my sleep schedule. That's with me being off work with all the health stuff. Like, I wouldn't have a schedule. I, I know from experience that I'd be, like, going nocturnal and being up at weird hours if I didn't have something to keep me on track. And s streaming has been that thing for me. Because I've got... Because I do regular stream hours, it, it makes me get up in the morning to do my stream. But I know you, you've, uh... You work at different times, like, and on different days, right, Fats? With your tutoring, so I guess that doesn't... It's not as easy for you. I will... Yeah. Yeah, that... that, that can't, I'd really struggle with that. That can't be easy. I mean, Burzum, who's one of my regulars in the stream, he, uh... He's got a regular night shift now, which is at least something, but he used to do all kinds of crazy shifts. They could call him, they'd, uh, his schedule would sometimes have morning shifts, sometimes afternoon shifts, sometimes the evening, sometimes night. Just changing constantly throughout the week, and I don't know how he coped with that. It drive me crazy. I'm fine with the uh, weird hours, as long as they're regular, you know? I know you're at home at 11.30. Oof. I think you mentioned that on your Discord, though, right? That, uh, they were studying for an exam or something? As long as I'm mentioning your Discord, let me give you a shout-out. Pretzel's the best, everybody. Doing a lot of Metal Gear Solid at the moment. Playing Retro? Ooh, what was the last game you played? Yeah, everybody should follow Pretzel and also join the Discord and everything. Exam the next day. Is Metal Gear Solid 3 Retro? How old is it now? I consider, like, 15 years to be the line for Retro. Is Metal Gear Solid 3 15 years old? If not, I'm gonna have to report you, Pratz. Streaming under the wrong category. Exam the next day. It is exactly 15 years old. Oh, okay. 
That's fair then, I retract my complaint. And even if you have got an exam the next day, you're staying up till 11.30 studying are the best idea. Get some sleep. Get your brain working for tomorrow. Oh well. I say that as though I wasn't that brain dead when I was doing my exams and, and school. So the, yeah, so the earlier than the day before. It's a little late by that point. But, uh... I'm, I'm a little bit, uh, pot calling the kettle black. I st really studied at u I really struggled at university because, uh... Like, regu regular school, sixth form, or, or college... School system's completely different. I mean, it's not that different over here to how it is over there, but everything has different names. But for most of my school life, I uh, I coasted through everything, getting really high grades with zero effort. And then I hit university and stuff was actually hard and I didn't know how to deal with it. Like, I'd never learned how to study, is the thing. Studying is actually a skill. And I suddenly encountered hard stuff way later than I was supposed to, and I did I hadn't learned how to deal with hard stuff until that point. So I I did not do well with that. I had a bit of a rough time. So yeah, there's uh, some irony in me tell in me saying that a kid should study before the day before the exam. Learn to study early and gradually, yeah. Like, I could do it now. I've, uh, developed a lot better habits these days for getting stuff done. But back, back then, it just, uh, didn't work out for me. But even if, even for getting a cool new qualification or what have you, I could not go back to uni. Too many bad memories around that one. A few hours every day instead, yeah, that's a much better way to do it. How are you with your sleep hygiene basics, Fretz? And the doctor's always hopped on at me about the uh, sleep hygiene stuff, and I kind of grumble that it doesn't fix stuff on its own, which they they talked about as though it magically would, but it does help. Have you, have you got blackout blinds? I, I do like those. I sleep a lot better since I got them. Like the really thick curtains that just completely keep the light out, keep your room pitch black. Yeah, those are good. <laughs> do you use a noise blocker? Yeah, my uh, I've got sunset lamps in my bedroom to try and get my brain to think that it's bedtime. You have two fans, use okay. <laughs> yeah, I've got a uh, a rain noise website that I have on my phone. I have that running every single night, just rain noise playing the the whole night. It just uh, masks noises, you know. Somebody slams the door downstairs because they're up before me, and it just blends in with the rain noise and doesn't wake me up. Like it doesn't, it doesn't stop my regular sleep problems, but I don't. It stops me from from being woken up in other ways, and then having trouble getting back to sleep again because of sleep problems. So it it helps. Am I just falling asleep? Yeah, I get you. The tablets have helped me stay asleep a lot, but falling asleep is still hard. Most of the tablets for falling asleep are, uh... Like, you can't take them for long. You can't stay on them. Like, in some bad periods, I've been on Zoppy Clone, but it's like, you can't take that for longer than a week without it wrecking you. 
For for one week, it'll help you fall asleep instantly, and life is great. And then after a week, you start having hallucinations and crap, and the withdrawal symptoms are nightmarish. I wish I had better advice, to be honest, but, uh... If I knew how to fix sleep problems, I wouldn't have sleep problems. I swallow. How are you doing? You having a good day? <laughs> Someone steal my sweet roll? I'm more in the business of sweet stealing other people's sweet rolls. That's why I'm no longer allowed in uh, Solitude and uh, Markarth and... What's the other one? I can never remember. Mal... Mal something? Mal... Mal Malakath? Mal Malakai. Malakai, yes. That's, that's the Skyrim city. Hey, Buzz. Everybody is coming in as I'm finishing. <laughs> Malhazar, thank you, Buzz. That's, that's the one. <laughs> How are you guys? You having good days? <laughs> Awkward phrasing? What did I say? I probably won't get it even when you explain it. <laughs> yeah, how are you doing guys? I hope you're, I hope you're well. Chaos, and you need like seven days off to fix it. Well, I've got a, uh, I've got good news for uh, another, for in another nine days. I fix one flat thing every day. That's fair. I will play video games and watch you do it. <laughs> Working day shift, okay. So she'll be awake when we are, that's good. It was a little difficult last time I visited when she was on night shift. We had to whisper. <laughs> yeah, most of the week, okay. Good, that means we won't have to, uh, like, do productive stuff or, you know, go outside, get fresh air, walk or read books. You can just play video games all day and all night. No adult supervision. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to it, Buzz. Try and cook in the evenings? Okay. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. I'm hoping we can do some Vigante when I'm up there. Good stream. Did you catch any of it other than the ending, Buzz? Oh well, I appreciate the sentiment anyway. <laughs> yeah, thanks for stopping by, guys. It was, it was good to hear from you all. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Let's see if I can raid somebody, shall we? So uh, next time we'll be playing Skyrim will be Monday afternoon. Uh, tomorrow afternoon will be the end of Bloodborne. The the fourth time I've said that tomorrow that we'll be ending Bloodborne, but you know we're we're trying, we're trying. I'm I'm pretty sure this time is actually going to be the end. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for stopping by, everybody. I hope to see you next time. Uh, in the meantime, we're gonna go raid Berto. Looks like he's playing some Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. We'll see how he's doing. <laughs> yeah, thanks for being here, Pets. Alright. Have a good day, everybody. Catch you all next time.